Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry how I ball so if you haven't seen my last video, um, I went through how to make a logo and illustrator with perfect ratios and everything. In this one, I'm just going to show you how to convert a normal flat uh, logo into like, I've put a picture on screen, like an, an eSports version of it. The whole eSports logo thing at the moment is kind of trendy. So I just thought I'd show you how to convert something like this into that sort of style. In no way am I claiming this is original, this logo. It's so common um i wouldn't recommend copying this tutorial and using it as your own logo because it's probably been done before definitely it's been done before first thing i'm going to go through is how to use gradients to get the whole initial look of it here is a rectangle first thing you want to do is half the rectangle like this um, i'm just drawing another rectangle over the top i'm actually going to make these outlines so you can see um if i'm going too quick then i'd watch the last tutorial just to see what i'm doing but yeah now we've split the rectangle in half um, highlight and click this gradient button here and I'm also going to get rid of the stroke so yeah now the gradients are on um, click this one here gradient and now you can edit the gradients um, if you can't see this I guess it's up here window gradient this button here this box or whatever um, is what angle the gradients at so now it's at zero so if we click 90 it's going to rotate 90 degrees to the right I think not to the left. And um, with eSports logos, you kind of want to keep it um, every 90 degrees. So 0, 90, 180, minus 180 or 90. Um, either one of them. If you start going into like diagonals, it starts to look a bit, bit weird like that. So yeah, to get the whole look of it, um, I just change this black to more of a grey. Like this. And then keep one side as it is and then use the other side and flip it and to flip an angle you just want to add 180 to it so yeah now you can sort of see where the whole idea comes from there you go looks kind of has like a metallic sort of look to it and that is just with two gradients and that is the whole premise of the esports logo just one gradient one way one the other way so now to get into all these endings and curves um, I'm just going to start with one like this the main thing is you want to split it in half um, first so split it like this but now, if we have this and add the gradients on, um, 0 one way and 180 that way, it looks good, but these end bits look a bit weird because it just goes straight and then it cuts off on this circle edge bit. So the main thing you want to do is, so yeah, half it first um, as if it was a rectangle. To sort of tether out the line at the end, you want to use circles. I'd probably use the same size circle that um, this edge was made out of. So. This is made out of a three block high circle. You sort of want it to meet at this corner. Um, by pressing Control Y, um, you can get rid of all the thick outlines and just leave it with the initial shape. Um, if you press Control Y, you can see this has a, a stroke like this. But if you want to get rid of all the strokes, press Control Y, and this is outline mode. So you can really accurately sort of line up edges and stuff. Um, I'm just going to go View and Snap to Grid, turn that off so it's unchecked. So now if I move it along, I just want to snap it as close as I can to that corner and there. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So now you can see this end is a lot better to this end. And as I said, as it has rotational symmetry, you can just press Control C, Command Shift V to place it in the same place that it is now, just on top. Like you can, it's just duplicated it in the same place and then rotating it 180 degrees and using the pathfinder to make each one and now there you go esports logo done so i've just pasted the original logo back on top i'm going to make an outline just because i'm going to copy and paste this um, all the way down like that just because i can't be asked to recreate this three times so yeah highlighting it all bang 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 because this is too small um, to have the circles meet I've just compromised and done one bit um, like this and then one bit just underneath so now I can rotate this okay now for the main bit so I've got this um, I'm just gonna hold alt and drag to duplicate it and make it all one again so it's black properly and then lay it over the top by pressing control and the right square bracket key and holding it down um, it will move the layers that you're selected on up um, and, it, and then obviously 
the other bracket key square bracket will move them down and then this is where the whole esports stylization thing comes in i'm going to select all of them and gr group them by right clicking and pressing group just so when i select one they all become one so yeah the whole esports stylization thing comes with the sharp strokes and outlines to everything so so yeah now you have this outline with a stroke on it um, I'm going to press Control C, Command Shift V to duplicate it in the same spot. Um, as you can see, I've duplicated the stroke. You just can't see it because it's directly on top. And I'm going to change the color to pink, let's say. Now the outline's pink, but esports logos usually have a big black stroke and then a thin colored stroke around the edge. So by pressing Control and then the left square bracket key, I'm going to move it down a layer. Now if we add the stroke to... Yeah, five. There you go. So we've got the gradients, the black stroke, the coloured stroke. The last thing is some esports logos, they have this like white stroke in the middle of these lines. And to do that, I'm just going to duplicate one of them and delete the points which I don't want. I just want this, um, this curvy line here like this. So I'm just using the direct selection tool um, or pressing A on the keyboard and clicking a point and pressing delete. So yeah, now we have this, I'm just going to make it a black outline, just so you can see. So this line here now is the same as this middle bit here. So yeah, we've got this black stroke here, um, I'm just going to do the same for this one. There you go, press I on the black stroke to replicate the black stroke, and snap it on top. By the way, if these um, things aren't snapping, just go to View and Smart Guides. Um, it will like recognise this shape is exactly the same as this shape. And if you just put it over, it will snap to the center of it. And last one. So you can see now this stroke looks smaller than the other two. It's not because it is smaller, because I color dropped this so it'd go the same size. It's because this one, this stroke is above this layer, but underneath this layer. So to fix that, I'm just going to move this down a few layers until the stroke is visible like this. And if this um, does it with yours, it sort of stops at the end of the stroke. Just go into the, the stroke window and then press this one here just to extend it all the way to the end. All right, so out of these, I'm going to choose this one, I think. There you go. That is pretty much it. Main thing is, if you don't know how to use Illustrator, go back to that old tutorial just to get all the basics of it. Um, if I'm going too quick, then just learn Illustrator, basic Illustrator first. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to follow. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through the presentation that a lot, I see a lot of eSports logo designers use. So yeah, I'm just going to save this as a PNG and transfer it into Photoshop. So yeah, now we're in Photoshop and we have the logo that we've just made. So yeah, I'm just going to make a duplicate of the logo just to keep it and hide it. Now, the main thing you see, I'm uh, just going to make a black background as well. main thing you see uh, with these sorts of things is they're sort of slanted at an angle, but they're not sort of rotated like this. They're always, they look sort of almost 3D. And to do this, uh, there's different ways of doing it. Um, I'm just pressing Control T and holding Control and then dragging a corner. And then as you can see, it sort of, sort of gives it like a, like a warp like this. And then just sort of bend it until it looks good, I guess. You don't want to go overboard with this warp process. Another um, way to do this is to control T, right click, press perspective. If you want to just do it one way like this. If you just want to do it like, like that, I guess. Now for the main bit, i um, going to duplicate this main logo again and make it bigger. If you want to save it as a bigger size in Illustrator so this doesn't lose quality, then please do that because I forgot to do that. Um, I'm going to add a gradient uh, to the back. I'm going to make it a radial gradient. I'm going to make it black and white. And I'm going to reverse it so it has this white middle and black outline. And then set it to overlay and reduce the opacity. Doesn't doesn't do much, but it means that the, the outsides of the background sort of become more hidden. Again, I'm only going quick because you shouldn't be copying like exactly. It's just so you can pause and then do your own thing to it. Main thing with these esports though is the warp and the glow, which I'm just going to use the same color here for the glow and probably make it a bit brighter. Yeah, there you go. Um, actually, one more thing, add a glow in the background. And there you go. There's the basic esports layout um, of what was originally a flat one colored logo. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it did help. Yeah. Peace anyway.